Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an animated flyer designs in After Effects. First of all, we're gonna use Photoshop to design it, and we're gonna animate all the elements inside After Effects, all right? <laughs> Alright, just before we proceed, a lot of you who are watching the video have not subscribed to the channel. So I request you to kindly subscribe to the channel and help me reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Also, follow me on Instagram at TheMotionDesigners. Alright, back to the tutorial. So here I am in Photoshop. I have an image inside this from Pixels.com. I'm gonna right click and rasterize the layer. And first things first, let's remove the background. So you have this remove background select this and we're gonna wait for a while and the background has been removed we're gonna double click on this and rename this to image and we're gonna duplicate this layer hitting ctrl j on the keyboard i'm gonna rename this copy to bg and move it down at the bottom let's select this mask layer and hit ctrl i so that it reverse that so let's turn off the image layer right click and apply layer mask we're gonna select this color and pick the color somewhere close to this hit ok and select this rectangle tool and select the character here control and backspace to fill the color all right control d to deselect so we're gonna extend this background control t and we're gonna stretch it out so that is very simple so let's delete this layer zero and delete that. All right, so let's grab this tool, ellipse tool with no stroke and a fill of light blue color. And we're gonna draw an ellipse. So move it down just below the image. So we have this. And let's create the text that we have, 26 July, right? The color should be blue. Select this rectangle tool, no fill and on a stroke of this color around to a pixel and we're gonna draw a rectangle something like this so we're gonna select both this layer control G to group it and rename it date and control J to duplicate it control T and move it somewhere here name it time 8 p.m. right p.m. like that and you can even select this and scale it up move it down all right, that's how I create that. It's very simple. All right, let's quickly add a text here. So that is that and hold down Alt and Shift and drag it down. And Sunday, okay, something like that. And I'm gonna duplicate this. Hold down Alt and drag it. That's how you duplicate it. And night. And maybe I'm gonna change the font to this font. Okay, and change the color to something like white and change the size, scale it down. You can, you know, play it however you want. Let's, let's put it like this for now and let's create another text and paragraph to this and control T and rotate it and put it somewhere here. All right, it's very simple. Yeah, change the color to this color hold on alt and drag it somewhere here and that's all right the last and final thing that i'm gonna do is add a uh, ripped paper textures on this so let me drag and drop it okay let me just scale it up just put it roughly somewhere here we can always adjust this later on in after effects okay so drag and drop another textures rotate it and scale it up somewhere here okay so let's put this here like this for now control s to save it and fly your touch save hit okay close this and go to after effects all right so here i am in after effects go to the project panel and double click on it and you can open this fly your design touch this is the design that i've created and select this import as a composition retain layer size and hit import and retain layer size and hit okay 
double click and you have all the layers like you have in Photoshop. So you can see here, the folders are created as a pre comps inside After Effects. Okay, that's very cool. Now that we have this, it's very simple. Make this, make all this a 3D layer, this 3D. If you don't find this, you can hit F4 and toggle switches between this. All right, now that we have a 3D layer, let's go ahead and create a camera. And I'm, I'll stick with 50 mm, hit OK. Once you create a camera, I like to add another object, which will be a controller, P to bring up the position and we're gonna move this Z axis backwards, okay? Let's move around 2800. So far away from this and you can scale it back up, okay? We just change the position. So let's go to ellipse, hit P on the keyboard. Let's change this to 2000, all right? So and we can scale it back. We can scale the size of the ellipse back, okay? So let's keep that for now and let's work on the animation of the camera, right? So the camera animation is is the main, the, the key for this uh, whole design. And we're gonna work on the other, the random lines animation in the background, all right? So stick till the end to know how to create that, all right? So let's first create the camera animation. So selecting on the null object, hit P on the keyboard, hold down shift, page down one two three four five six all right set a keyframe here in the position come back to the first frame and we're gonna move towards the headphone you can see the plus icon here this point with this plus if not perfect you can just align it close you know and move the position towards the ellipse and something like this okay make some changes as you can see here the dates and the time is not a 3d where else we put this layer at 3d okay so make sure you uncheck these two gear icons and you will have a 3d okay go to the last keyframe here and we're gonna move this position even further away so that it reveals the paper textures here okay you can position reposition these textures and we're gonna move this text sunday hit p on the keyboard towards the camera and maybe even scale it down a little bit something like this and reposition it somewhere here it's quite better select all the keyframes f9 and go to the graph editor the main thing is to tweak the graph so if you come and see here now that's looking better all right now that you have the camera animation we have to go and point this camera to the other parts of the text so before doing that let's go ahead and create those curvy lines Control y on the keyboard and lines okay hit okay and maybe I'm gonna change the color to, to, I don't know, this, okay? Okay, go to effects and presets and search for blinds, Venetian blinds, and transitions complete to 80. You can see here, you can have some lines here, and we're gonna change the direction to, four, sorry, 45, and width to, I don't know, you can adjust the width as per you like. So I'm gonna increase it somewhere here, okay? So make this a 3D, 3D layer as well. And we're gonna move this just below the ellipse, okay? Ellipse. Hit P on the keyboard. And push it back so that it goes behind the ellipse, okay? We can always scale it back like this and we can change the color of this by going to the solid color so it adapts the color of the solid okay so let's say it like this go to the effects and presets and search for this place turbulent displays turbulent displays okay drag and drop it there and we're gonna scale it up to maybe 100 
and size to even one you can, you can just crank up the size and we're gonna animate this evolution so hold on alt and click on this evolution and type in time times 50 and you have this okay very cool and we're gonna duplicate the lines control D and we're gonna even duplicate this ellipse and move these lines duplicated lines just above the ellipse and hit P on the keyboard and move the position towards the camera so that it reveals just on top of this ellipse okay so we're gonna go and mask this I'll format and go to the lines and go some make some changes with to smaller than this and maybe we're gonna change the amount of turbulent here so that you have some random randomness going on there okay it's just like that okay you can play it back Alright, that is very cool. So let's add some uh, movements to the camera, okay? Hit P on the keyboard, hold down Alt, and click on the stopwatch and add an expression. Wiggle, and inside the bracket, you can just write point, point 0.5, comma, and maybe 60. You can see what's going on. Playback. All right, let's go and hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Once you're there, and hold down Shift, page down one, two, three. So after hitting three times, go and punch in. I'm gonna point it to to the date. Even punch in more. So here, and hit one, two, three, page down, and I'm gonna move this to the time. All right. So hit R to bring up the rotation. Shift R, in fact. So at this keyframe, at this point, you can add an orientation keyframe and hold down Shift, one, two, three, page down thrice, hit U, U to, to, to reveal only the keyframes. And we're gonna move it down, rotate it, and position it here. It's just simple to just to, you know, you, you just have to go and reposition it, okay? So there, and it rotates here. And hold down shift and page down one, two, three. And you can just move it, oops, not this, here up to the food and drinks. Okay, and one, two, three, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back to, to this. Okay, copy this keyframe. One, two, three, paste it. And we're gonna rotate it again. Okay, set a blank keyframe for the rotation here, and we're gonna set this to zero. All right. So let's go and select all these. Hit F9. Go to the graph. So the way you set the graph will will affect how the animation will look. Okay. So keep that in mind. The most and the final important thing is to make sure to turn on the motion blur for all the layers. Hit F4. Just he just turn on these layers for the layers and for the composition. I hope you learned something from this. This is Motion Designer and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.